Investigators are putting a serious dent into Jefferson County's rape kit backlog. In 2018, we broke the story about nearly 4,000 sexual assault kits going untested. WVTM 13's John Papke investigates how much progress is being made to bring victims justice. Three years ago, we uncovered a huge backlog of untested sexual assault kits in Jefferson County. Nearly 4,000 dating back to 1985, just sitting on a shelf. Since then, a special task force has sent more than 1,000 of those kits to a lab. We're using the resources we have to make sure that we are knocking down the backlog and making sure it doesn't happen again. And speaking of resources, thanks to a grant, last year they hired two investigators and an analyst to speed up the process. We have the ability to go track people down differently and like find people and, and contact them and make sure that they're even interested in hearing about their case mm -hmm. or in whether or not they want to move forward. Since our last update, Aaron Geiger Sedgwick says the number of hits from their kits in the National DNA database has doubled, up to 175 by this summer. The program has produced criminal charges against 10 suspects so far. We have a higher than the national average rate of serial offender hits. Geiger Sedgwick says 30% of Jefferson County's database hits are linked to serial offenders. That's double the national average of 14%. That includes Jonathan Lockett here. The work of the Sexual Assault Kit Initiative team has linked the Birmingham man to sexual crimes against eight different victims between early 2019 and the end of last year. And while some victims from the backlog have chosen not to press charges once their offender is identified, Geiger Sedgwick claims many are pursuing long-awaited justice. And then there's people who, who have said, like, I've been waiting all this time. And then we've got people that are like, oh, I thought I was forgotten about. I'm so glad to know that my case is going somewhere. Her team is sending 50 kits to the lab each month and hope to eliminate the backlog in about five years. John Papke, WVTM 13, investigates.